Hello everybody. New toy. SG. It's mine now. I got it for uh, 60. My dad was nice enough to give me a discount. Um, what he actually got me for Christmas was the fret job on my uh, Squire. He paid for that thing to get fixed because before the fret job, that thing was just buzzing and the notes were dead and you couldn't play certain frets and get sound, but now I think it plays smooth. But uh, also, I'm going to teach you some basic guitar lessons. Uh, uh, right here, this is going to play for you for a second my new toy, and then I'm going to start actually going into some actual lessons. Um, sorry you can't see my face very well, I'm not the greatest cameraman, but I will make sure that you can see the fingers. <laughs> I know it's a cheap Epiphone, it's a beginner's guitar. It's not that bad. It's it's guitar is really good for the money. And it does have an amazing sound. <laughs> Today, we're not really going to learn how to shred or play anything fast. Because you got to learn how to walk before you can run. Are we going to Gibbs? Sorry about that. That was my brother. He just wanted to see what I was talking to. I'm talking to the camera. But anyways, lesson time. Um, I'm going to teach you guys uh, a G chord. A C chord and a D chord and an E minor. And then I'll explain to you why those chords go really well with each other. And then I'll explain some scales and things. I'll try to get this done in 10 minutes. Uh, if we have enough time, I might be able to actually play you a scale. First off, before I teach you the chords, if you got a pen and paper, uh, write this down. This is the G major scale, and above every letter, put a number. Because in a scale, there's a scale degree. All right. Uh, there's seven notes in a scale, unless you count the octave, that would be eight, but you can just write one over that again. So here we go, this is G major scale, write it out right now. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, and I'll repeat those so in case you missed them. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And also don't forget to number your letters. Because every major, there's a relative minor. The relative minor is E. And uh, to figure out what the E minor scale is, all you have to do is go to your major scale and uh, pick up where the, uh, and go to, and go to number six, which would be your E. <laughs> and then start writing from E, write from E to E, which would be E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, then E, and it starts all over again. That's E minor. That's the relative minor to G major. Now I'm going to teach you guys a G major chord. Now this may sound backwards, but this is actually your first string. This is actually your bottom string although it may be look like it's the top of the guitar it's your bottom string because it's a lower note this is the top your and the, the strings on the guitar I might as well tell you what that is E A D G B E those are the strings on the guitar and these fingers right here we call them frets uh, right there when you when, if you play a note like this and you don't put your finger on there it's open then there's one two three four five and you know and etc but anyways I'm going to teach you G major you take this finger right here the middle finger no pun intended go to the third fret which is this on your bottom string your bottom E or your sixth string and then on your fifth you take this finger Go to the second fret, which is right here, and then you have uh, your fourth and your third string, which are D and G. Leave them open, which means don't touch them with, you know, don't put anything on them. And then you can leave your your B open also, which is your second string, which would be 
this thing right here, that's your second string. Now, that's your first string. Now, take this finger right here, put it on the third fret, which is this fret right there, and you have a G major. And we'll go with picking patterns and stuff on another video. Right now, I'm just teaching you basic formations and why these chords matter. I'll explain that in a minute. That's a G major chord. Now we're going to form a C major chord. Um, you, you take this finger right here, go to the fifth string, which is your A, go to your third fret, and then your fourth string, which is your D, take the middle finger, go to the second fret, and then your G, which is your th third string, leave it open, and then your fifth string, which is this B, which is the second to the last going down, go on the first fret and you got a C chord. Alright, so that's G and C. Now let's learn a D. It's a little bit easier. Alright, D you have your fourth string open. And if you can't tell what your fourth string is, the one that's, that I'm, that's moving right now, I mean, no, this right here, leave it open. And then take this finger right here, go to the, uh, what looks like the third, yeah, the third string on the second fret. And then uh, take this finger right here and put it on the second string. And uh, on the third fret, and then your first string, which is your high E, take your middle finger, put it on the second fret, and you got a D. And you got a cheesy little ACDC sounding song. Or if you played in a lot of worship teams like I have in the past, you got your typical church song. Not making fun, I'm a Christian. A common progression for basic song structure, maybe not in the metal scene, is one, four, five. And what that means, if you wrote down your notes like I told you to, is for every note is a is a scale degree. Like in G major, well common sense would say G is the one. And then four would be your C, and five would be your D. Now I know those major chords sound kind of cheesy and happy sounding, but now we're going to learn an E minor, which is really easy. Your sixth string is open, which is your low E, and then your fifth and fourth, you take these two fingers, Middle finger goes on the fifth string on the second fret. Finger under the middle finger goes on the on the uh, fourth string on the second fret, and then everything else stays open. And you got an E minor chord. So a really good progression, like one, four. You don't have to do those exact progressions, I'm just giving you an example. I'll show you why they work. E minor is the relative minor to G major. I don't have any time to show off an actual scale right now, because the video is almost running out of time, but I will do future videos where I show you lead runs and stuff like that, but this is just kind of a basics. you got to learn how to walk before you can learn how to run. Do this, this is a basic finger exercise. I know it sounds really bad, but it's not meant to sound good. It's just meant to get your fingers warmed up. And then go up. And uh, what I'm starting is I'm on this first fret. I'm just using fingers, uh, this finger, this finger, this finger, just simultaneously after each other. And the video's about to be over, but one more time.
when you pick, you want to do alternate picking, which is down, up, down, up, down, up, opposed to going. You want to go. Thank you, God bless. Jesus loves you, and learn to play the guitar. Thank you.